All right, let's take care of the rest of these wolves. But first, I gotta do some save deletion because when I recorded today, it wasn't recording my audio in OBS because I forgot to reset my sound settings, which is such a shame. But that's what I get for not double checking. But either way, let's take out these wolves. I gotta do this hour all over again. Which is, okay, the hour goes by quick, because this is actually kind of a fun game to play. I mean, better than most modern games nowadays, even. As one person said. Alright. Now these wolves are not for... I can get up. They're not for Montero. And we died. That's wonderful. The wolves are elsewhere, so we probably don't even need to fight these wolves, but I'm going to anyways because... It says load not present because I deleted my quick save. Alright, round two. I'm going to try to do everything that I did an hour ago. What a shame, right? Alright, how about you? Okay, sometimes this move works and sometimes it doesn't because these wolves attack you whenever they want. Look at that. It's so annoying. And there's a lot more wolves up ahead. Raises my blood pressure. Well, not really. Back when this game came out, these wolves are so annoying. Wolves and boars. They're making my face turn red. So you can't just, you can't react to their cheap attacks. I don't know what they were thinking. What were they thinking? There's a coral boat bolt there. Alright, it's right over here. We got a lot of wolves up here. A whole bunch. One save. So what I did was I have to lure them away. Because there's seriously like eight wolves up here. There's a lot. We'll see. See that? That's a buttload. So I run away. Over here. Now let's see if I can take him out. <laughs> My goodness. You see that? Oh. Sucks I gotta do this all over again. But we'll try. I did it before. And right after these wolves, we gotta take care of the bandits. And it took me a while, last part, to find them. But since I know where they are, I can just go straight there. We gotta find grain, we gotta find milk, collect rent from Dominic's farm. Just keep running. I think that made them run away, go back rather. Where'd they go? Oh, that is interesting. They just poofed back to where they were? Because they were follow they were walking back to where they were the last time I fought these wolves. Oh, it sucks I have to do this all over again. It's a good thing I make those saves that I can go back to, right? And I'm also completely lost. Like, where am I? And we're sliding down. Yeah, where am I going even? There's a campfire. And where there's a campfire, there's wolves. There's three here. There we go. I see lights. Over there. Right, this is it. Alright. Yeesh. Ah, we missed. There's a lot of wolves here. I might just give up. I don't think I want to do this. I did a last part, but I can't... The sound didn't come through. Because I forgot to reset my sound settings. Because I was having sound setting problems with Diablo. 
My sound wasn't coming through. That's because I forgot to set it to the Twitch um, audio. Alright, how about you? Let's go back. Darn wolves, man. Alright. Like, what were they thinking with these wolves, Pranabites, back then? They had to have tested this. Supposed to just come back later with a lot of armor, but they knock you down. Where are they? Where are you going? Alright, I might just say forget it, so let's just go back to where that road was. I will see you there. Alright, we found bandits. This is where they are, the grain thieves. As you can see by the NPC name. Let's get our crossbow ready. And we'll take aim and fire. And they make some funny pain animations. It's pretty humorous. Why are they all attacking at the same time? What the heck? Come on. I think they do at first? That's so weird. Right, let's go forward a little bit and heal up. This wasn't so bad. My goodness, we're not doing too well in this part. The last time I played this and fought these bandits, it wasn't so bad. Let's go around. Because there's another entrance. And back at that entrance, I, only be I was only able to fight like one or two at a time. Let's grab this first, healing plant. This part isn't turning out too well at all. We already looted that chest. Right, here we are. <clears throat> Alright, let's go in. It's kind of hard to see because it's nighttime. Now you're going to bleed. He sounded enthusiastic. Okay, how about you? Here they come. Eesh. Someone recorded on the recording booth, and they proved it. What the heck? I can barely see. Let's just move forward a little bit and heal, because we're getting hit pretty good. Again. There we go. Easy. Not really. Seriously, last time I t tried this, they didn't kill me once. I don't know why I had so much of a problem there. It always works out like that when you have problems like, for example, recording. And you come back to these areas and now all of a sudden you're having a problem. Like a snowballs. It always works out like that, at least for me. Let's go ahead and loot everything.
Eat all the things. Because these guys have wheat that we need to grab for Sanford, the warehouse guy back in Montera. I also found out where the teleporter stone is, and when we're done out here, we'll go back and get it. And hopefully that's all the sacks here. There's sacks back at the farm we missed. There's also a cave here that I explored in when I tested this. I did my last recording, but there's a lot of skeletons in there, and a lot of mine crawlers, and I don't feel like going in there because we had a hard problem with the bandits right now. I swear I didn't have a problem with these bandits last time, and I killed the wolves over there as well. So let's go back. I'll see you back at uh, the grain farm. All right, we got a boar here. Let's take him out. We'll grab this healing plant. We got our farm over here. Let's go ahead and save. And this is my second jaunt here because there's two wild boars over there. And they killed me. And I started and I forgot to save, so I was all the way back at the bandit camp. They did their usual stun locking maneuver. I hate these things so darn much. They really drag the experience down. Stop moving backwards, you. There we go. Give me that. And give me that, and we're going to save, so I don't have to do that again. And now we're back at the grain farm. It is very, very dark, so let's go to sleep. Alright, we're all rested, healed up. Now let's go grab... All those sacks of wheat. I missed them the first time because they were kind of blended in in a way. Here they are. Grab all these. Sanford needs them. And we need experience and gold. Got some more over here. We got two here. We need two more. Right here. And there we go. Let's talk to Elber. You won't lose any more sleep over those grain thieves. Don't tell me you sent them all running. Hardly. They are dead. <laughs> Amazing! That was no mean feat. Wouldn't you like to work for me? I already did. <laughs> That's true. And not for free, either. I will pay you the money that my people were going to get. Just don't spend it all on booze. We won't. We're going to spend it on training. Weapons, armor, and all that stuff that'll help us in our quest. What about those stolen sacks of wheat? Take them to Montera, together with the ones here on the farm. The boys must be waiting for them by now. Alright, we can rent out that slave, and we'll do that... Um, later, I guess. I don't know if that affects anything... With, uh... You know, rebel-wise, we'll come back here in a minute. Let's go to Montera, which is just right over here. I'm not going to pick up that stone nettle or this wild berry. We're going to go get that teleporter stone before I forget. And it's just right over here. No reason to skip ahead. It's just a shame that I didn't record my darn audio correctly. That's what I get for not double-checking. Because I made the assumption that switching over to my different profile in OBS also carries over it saves the uh separate audio tracks i got one audio track for game audio and the other for microphone but if you change it in one profile it also changes it for the other profile it's not separate per profile i that's how it works but there you go all right sanford are you serious here are your sacks of wheat well finally here is a bit of gold for your service thank you okay Let's talk to Merrick real quick. I'm gonna do some training. I'm gonna get my sug of myself. Oh, that guy is fierce, huh? What? I mean the guard up there by the gate. The orcs may appear a bit gruff, but if you speak their language, they turn out to be quite affable. 
We're going to increase our strength to 160. Would you teach me how to fight? There's a reason for that. There we go. We have nine points left. There's a reason for that, and we'll come across that point later. Let's go ahead and grab this teleporter stone before I forget, and there we go. So next, I'm going to go to that farm with the milk barrels, which I forgot to do. I meant to do that first before coming here. But once again, no need to skip, because it's right over here. At least these areas are kind of close. And we got some milk here. There's We need five. So one, two... This reminds me of when... We picked turnips for Lobart, the farm owner, back in Gothic 2, just to enter Carinas and get some farmer's clothes. Or rather, get farmer's clothes to enter Carinas. Right, there we go. We got five. And we'll go ahead and save, which I've been forgetting to do, I think. Go make a new save. It's a really good thing I make separate saves, don't I? Yeesh. Alright, now... We gotta go somewhere. Which direction are we going? Forget which path. I don't think it's this way. This way? I hope so. We gotta find the wolf cave and we gotta collect rent from Dominic. And we met Dominic, he was the guy who told us to go immediately see Merrick, the orc leader. Okay, this is the way, I think. We just get positioned here. I think that's the way, but first I'm going to take out these scavengers. At you. That was easy. Let's move on. The wolves are in a cave, and we gotta see Dominic in a minute. Yeah, this is the right area. It's much faster this time than last time. So I might be able to get more done in this playthrough. This one hour max playthrough. I'm going to say it, because these are wolves. And wolves are very deadly creatures. I got you. At least these ones are kind of weak. Uh, yeesh. Oh, oh, oh. All right, round two. Or rather, do it all over again because I forgot to save. Okay, that's better. I'm trying to concentrate there. Probably not like it matters because they do that stunning maneuver. I really don't know what they were thinking. One more. How about you? We're just gonna go all all in. All right, there we go. There's two more over there. We're gonna heal. And we're going to fight them after I loot this chest. What's in here? Anything cool? A million gold? No, just water and um, head knock bows. Head knock arrows. Let's go ahead and save. Oh, that's a fair amount of wolves in there. Let's see about just doing this, I guess. Oh, there's four of them. That's no good. Let's go ahead and do a quick heal. There we go. That was actually better than last time. In my last part, I mean. Alright, we got some... Got two amulets of ice protections. 
And yeah, gear is randomized. Because this was different stuff the last time in my last uh, recording. And we got a sword over there. A nice looking one. We got an open locks scroll. That's cool. A hunting bow. Healing potion. Snapper potion. Some torches. Wenzel's sword. How to get here? I don't even know. Wenzel's the paladin back in Cape Dunn, the one trapped in the uh, the one prisoned in the lighthouse. And it does 80 damage, just like our broad sword. And if we sharpen it, it'll do 90 damage. That's why we needed 160 strength, because it requires 160 strength just to use it. So let's go ahead and save, and we're gonna go see Dominic. So I will see you there. And here we are. Let's go collect the rent from this mean mercenary guy. I went to see the orc leader in Montera. You did? Well, it was time. He's still waiting for the rent from this farm. You are to hand me the gold at once, or he'll come out here and have your head. Um, all right, all right. So here it is. No hard feelings, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, that's 400 gold. Show me your goods. Now, what do you have for sale, though? Let's sell some stuff. Sell some... All this... All these crappy stuff we have. We'll keep the best bow we have, just in case we're gonna go back to using a bow. Really did waste a lot of points, did I? Oh well. Give away these shields. Sell some of those. Those ice amulets. Ice protection amulets, I mean. And we'll keep these, because I believe... Caskets. Goblets. You get more if you sell it to a fence. And you get more from furs and teeth... If you sell it to a hunter. So we'll balance all that out. Now we got 19,000 gold. We got plenty of training for gold. Gold for training. And there we go. What else would we got to do? We got to... Yeah, let's go back to Montera. No need to skip because we can just... Use our teleporter stone. Which really cuts down the backtracking. Alright, let's go visit Sanford. Or rather... Malik first. Merrick, excuse me. About the mercenaries. Elber is having massive problems leading his people on the grain farm. You think I should replace him? You said that. Right. I'll think about it. Good work. Keep it up. I've got the rent from Dominic. <laughs> Great. Scared the living daylights out of that lazy pig, did you? Keep the gold as your pay. I consider the payoff well worth it. Nice. So we still gotta talk to some other mercenaries. Because we're not done with that quest. To find out how loyal the mercenaries are. Let's talk to... Not talk to. Let's go ahead and sharpen our new sword. There we go. Now we can do 90 damage with it. And we're probably never going to give it to Wenzel. Which means we can get some use out of it. We'll also go ahead and equip it right here. So we don't accidentally re-equip our broadsword. It has better range. 110 versus our 90 from our broadsword. That'll help us out with wolves, I hope. And it does plus 10 blessed damage. And plus 10 sharpened damage, of course. Let's go ahead and save in a different slot. As well as a quick slate, quick slots, quick save. Stumbling over my words once again. Let's go ahead and give Sanford milk. Here are your milk barrels. You are really good. I know. Here is your pay. We don't have much humility, do we? We don't practice the humility virtue. It doesn't matter to you. But either way, anything in here? No. Let's go talk to Bradley. He's a slave owner. Gotta finish this quest. And he should be in here in his comfy hut. Dennis says you shouldn't work the slaves so hard. That smart ass. Let him do this job then. Whatever. Thanks. Here's your reward. Alright. We got 73 reputation of Montero. Now we need two more to enter the castle. So, we gotta talk to the rest of the mercenaries, and I don't know which mercenary to even talk to. Do we miss one? I feel like we talked to every single mercenary here, haven't we? 
Let's go back to that stockyard. I don't know if I missed someone. It's over here, right? We went the wrong direction. Well, let's go ahead and loot some stuff out here. We got a healing root. We got a stone nettle. It's a mana plant, excuse me. Now we got sunweed, flameberry. We'll take all this, why not? Healing plant, we need those. Ah, hello there. That's got to be the mercenary. Did not even know you were... No one led us here, did they? If an NPC led us to this guy, then I wasn't paying attention. Let's talk to him. Beat it, you worm. Taking a little break, huh? Shouldn't you be watching the slaves or something? Why is that any of your business? Leave me alone. Get back to work, or I'll report you to your superiors. Oh, will you? Ha! I'm shaking in my boots. Just go away, you loon! That's it? Um... I guess we'll go back to, uh... Merrick, then. Let's do that. I don't feel like walking over there. Let's just teleport. It's free. Hopefully we can say something about Trano to him. Trano. About the mercenaries. One of your boys is shirking work. Let me guess. It's Trano again, right? This is the last time. Go tell him I'm cutting his pay. Right, we gotta go back. Uh, I'll see you there. Merrick has cut your pay. I knew you'd rat me out, you scumbag. I'll remember this. Oh, I'm shaking in my boots. All right, let's go back to Merrick. We got enough reputation to go into the castle now. And this is not how I planned, or rather, this is not what I did in the last recording, but it works. Let's go back to Montera. And talk to Merrick real quick. That should be it, I hope. About the mercenaries. Trano is working again. Good for him. Here's your pay. And we're still not done. What the deuce? Let's go ahead and save and just go to the castle. Not like we need to do every single quest in the game or anything like that. But at this rate, it seems like I'm going to, isn't it? I think we'll do enough. Stop! Not one step further. Will you let me into the castle? Yes, but behave yourself. The boys in there are training and don't like to be disturbed. I see. What was I saying? Lost my train of thought after that. Right, so we'll do as many optional quests as we can, and when we seem like we're too strong, we'll do the main quest. Or as far as we go, since I'm making these parts no more than an hour now. So it'll be a little bit slower to finish Gothic 3, but that's okay. That means I'll be busy with it. Hey you, where do you think you're going? I'll have a look around here. You can have your look around in the slave quarters, you joker. Either you train with weapons here, or you make yourself scarce right away. Roll up your sleeves and get to work here, understand? Now don't you get on my nerves too. I'll have you know, you are speaking to an orc commander. You think you're really strong, huh? Bet you've never been on a really dangerous mission. Alright, what can I do for you? One of my people is shirking work. He's a strong warrior. He's resting in the lands he won during the war. But as long as the rebels are still pressing us, there's no reason to let ourselves go. I'll bring the orc warrior into the castle yard to report for work. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. His name is Follick. He's hiding out somewhere in the castle. Well, we gotta search the castle then. And those bandits I talked about earlier, the grain thieves, they took a while to find and apparently they were hard to find for some people too. But... We'll ignore that and I guess wander around and talk to the orcs. Anybody in here? A lot of people in here. Not a lot of people, but one person in here. What am I, th what am I saying? I don't sell to Moras. Why not? 
I work for Merrick, the leader of the mercenaries. <sighs> if it were up to me, they'd send you filthy mercenary rabble to the mind of Gotha. Say what you came to say. My time is precious. Nice arsenal you've got here. I have a very select inventory of goods here, Mora. Don't mess things up, or else I'll chop off your fingers, understand? Wow. Do you need anything else? Get old weapons for me. I will send them to the smithy and have them refurbished. I think 20 bundles of weapons should do for a start. Where do I get bundles of weapons? The rebels fight with that kind of old junk. Wherever there are rebels, you will also find old weapons. Show me your goods. We only have like three, I believe. Let me check. I don't think it shows in the cell panel. But either way, we got some weapons here. Got this bastard sword here, but uh, it requires 180 strength. Which we would have if we didn't waste our points on crossbow and pickpockets. There's no respec in this game, but we're just going to have to deal with it. But again, you learn a lot of skills in this game anyway, so it's not a big deal. Let's uh, grab some weapons here. That looks like a... that's a two-hander. We don't need that. We're probably not going to go with two-hander in this playthrough after all. I just remember it not being very good except for halberds. Let's go in here. And these orcs don't even look at you like humans do when you walk into a building. There's Varric. Now we'll talk to him later. Let's go find... What's his name? Fennec? Something. Anything in here? Just a little storeroom. Anything in here? Looks like a library or... Storeroom, really. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go up here. If I were a lazy orc, not one to work, I'd probably be hidden somewhere. That's just a warrior, eating food, eating some meat. Nothing here. How about up here? Maybe he's on the uh, battlements. That's him, Follick. That's his name. Let's go ahead and save. Let's talk to him. Wake up, you. Well, get off my tower. So, this tower is all yours, or what? Go shoot off your mouth with those losers in the arena. I'll skin you alive if you don't make yourself scarce. We're all alone here. So show me what you've got. All right. You asked for it. No one beats me more. How about you? No! 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 And we leveled up. Nice. We will take his crush for rock sword and all the stuff that's on him. Okay, we're level 19. And there's one quest that involves getting a trophy from an animal. We gotta learn that. I'm just waiting for him to get up. Playing my stats for later. Yeah, we wasted this on pickpocketing. Maybe it's used for a quest. I don't know. Crossbow was kind of not worth it. And he's going back to sleep. We beat him so hard he went back to sleep. So you knocked me down. That proves nothing. They are looking for you. They want you in the castle yard. What if I won't go? Go down to the castle yard where the others are. Or I'll make you. I'm going, but you leave me alone from now on, understand? All right, let's go talk to... What's his face? And we got reputation with the orcs. Is that two now? That's good. Because we're going to join the orcs. Well, not join the orcs. We're going to be an orc mercenary. Corsac. Corsac. Folek will show up for work in the castle yard from now on. What do you know? That Folek is one tough customer. Not bad for Amora. Not bad at all. We can really use someone like you around here. You can train a little more with me if you'd like. Okay, what can you train me in? Probably strength and the regular stuff, right? Would you teach me how to fight? Yep, looks like it. And also... Yeah, that shield skill requires 125 hunting skill as well. 
We'll probably just do sword and shield for the rest of the game. Alright, let's talk to the leader, Eric. Another one of you stinking moras. Who the devil let you in here? I don't like your looks, Mora. What's your problem? Up to now, your cowardly people have brought me nothing but trouble. The king's rebels hide in caves and woods and prefer to attack from ambush. They avoid any open battle. Countless men of the Moras fight and work for our cause. As mercenaries, you fight in our arenas and subjugate your own people. I despise that. Without the mercenaries, this city would collapse. Don't be so impudent, Mora. The fact that you are still alive is a sign of our benevolence. You seem to have some experience with the rebels. I certainly do. They are lurking outside the gates of this city, waiting for an opportunity to reconquer it. We have smashed their positions countless times, but they keep coming back. I heard that they get their supplies from a large rebel camp called Okara, I'd love to smash that nest if I knew where it was. How are the excavations going? Our all-encompassing search for the divine artifacts is none of your business, Mora. It would be better for you if you turned your attention to the security of the city. What do you know about the divine artifacts? You ask too many questions about things that are none of your business. Even if I knew what the power of those relics of the Ancient Ones was, I wouldn't share it with a mercenary. Hmm. What do you know about Zardis? The much bigger question is, why are you interested in the bearer of Beliar's power? I know him. Many people claim that, but only a select few have ever really seen him. Just tell me where I can find Zardis. If you know him so well, then you ought to know where he prefers to stay. He built his tower in a secret place, far from all that is worldly. You will never set foot there anyway, Mora. Oh, we'll see about that. We're not going to choose this yet, because once again, we're going to do as many optional quests as we can before crushing any rebel camp or liberating cities. But I'm pretty much dead set on joining the orc mercenaries anyways. But I have read it doesn't really matter that all that much. So let's go ahead and save. And this castle is actually not very big. There's not much to do here. Any people to talk to here? No, just orcs. I'm going to relax. Fair enough. These orcs are actually kind of lazy. Alright, what else can we do? York needs old weapons. 20, 20 weapons. I gotta figure out where that last mercenary is. I'm gonna check real quick, and once I find him, I will see you there. Alright, you may notice I didn't move around all that much, but because the quest won't be completed till later, and there's a possibility we might break the quest too. So, rather, it's already broken, because we talked to every mercenary here, so we just won't bother with it, I guess. So, I think next, we are going to. Probably go to Okara, the rebel settlement, and do stuff there, which isn't too far away. So let's go back into the woods, fight some creatures, do some stuff, and overall just try to make some progress in this game. I don't know how much further we have, but since these playthroughs are going to be like an hour max, probably for a while. Maybe even shorter than that, who knows. And there's these mercenaries, not mercenaries, these rebels here wanting to kill the mercenary cows. Yeah, let's just keep going this direction. This is the direction of Okara. Let's grab this healing plant over here. But so far I'm having fun playing this game. It's definitely backwards combat animations questing compared to the first two games, because like I said, the first two games had that emphasis on questing, less on the fetch questing, because you're always going to be fetching something. That's why they call it fetch quests. But Gothic 1 and 2 had that whole... Um, when it's, you felt like you were questing. It was the experience. It was fun. In this game, it feels, you know, MMO style. Which is what people mean when they don't like the quest of this game. It's 
doesn't bother me personally, but I do prefer the Gothic 1 and 2 experience because this game has a really good atmosphere to it. The world is very, very big. In fact, uh, maybe too big. I like open world games, but I also like, uh, I prefer like maps like Gothic 1 and 2 where it's still big, but pretty much every single corner, nook, cave, farm is just filled with stuff to do, people to talk to quests to do and caves to explore, enemies to fight. There was always something to do in um, Gothic 1 and 2. This game it's phenomenally huge. Huge swaths of land with uh, where it's like you keep walking and just not filled with stuff and all that, if that makes sense. You know, kind of like real life. Which I'm sure that's what they were going for. They were going for the Oblivion experience. And I may be going the wrong way. I don't know. I think this way. That's gotta be it right here. It's gotta be Okara. Let's just um, slow down and take a deep breath and enjoy the scenes in this game. Nothing there. Let's go up here. I may be going the wrong way. Where, like, where are they? I think up here. We haven't encountered any enemies either. You think there'd be enemies around here? We've never been here before. And without the map, we'd be lost. Aha, there's somebody here. I never met this person before, even in the last my, my last recording. But we will talk to him. Owen. Hey stranger. Have you got some decent booze for a miner down on his luck? I want to drink myself into oblivion. Here you go. A bottle of booze. Thanks, man. That's just what I need right now. History way of drinking? Who are you? I'm a homeless miner. My name is Owen. I lost everything that was near and dear to me in the war. I'm waiting for an orc patrol to scoop me up and send me to work in the mines. A homeless prospector. And that's it? We can't say anything else about him? I guess you can send him to Okara. Or you can send him to Gotha. Which I'm assuming is the orc mines he was talking about. And I may go ahead and turn down the music just a little bit. So let's turn this down to like, I guess 31. And let me know if it's just too light in some areas, I guess. I can always kick it back up. But sometimes the music really peaks to the point where it's a little hard to hear the NPC dialogue, I think. So I'm sure someone will say something. But either way, let's move on and try to find uh, those hunters in the last part that uh, I can't seem to find right now. I don't know where they're at. Oh, we got some enemies down there. Those are... I don't know what those are. Can we get down there, though? That's the question. Let's go this way. I think Wenzel's sword will serve us very well. We also needed to find some iron ore, because that way we can forge that long sword that we bought the blueprint for. If we can do that, we have ourselves a decent weapon. Well, we have a decent weapon now. This one has long range. Haven't even tested it out yet. And those look like something. Boars? Let's go ahead and take them out, I guess. Ripper bees. Those aren't boars. Oh, there's a lot of them. Darn it. I thought there was just two. The game tricked me. We're diseased, too. Let's go ahead and drink a disease potion. There we go. That didn't work. Um, can't open up my inventory. Here we go. We didn't finish drinking it, I guess. There we go. 
I don't know why he does that after drinking it. You think he would just drink it, but oh well. Let's go ahead and loot these. Ripper Beast, get some meat, and ah. Actually, a nice view. You can see the waterfall way over there. I don't know if you can see that, but because the game loads as you progress, as your character walks around. Ah, that's you. And yeah, this has good range. That one's walking away backwards pretty far. He's afraid we're killing our killing his comrades. And it disappeared. I'm not going after him. We're going to loot these chests. Yeah, I'll take all that. Thank you. Got some weapons on the ground here that we'll take. Also got a knife. And a chest. Wonder what's inside. Oh, we got a healing scroll. That's cool. We'll take that. And we got bison. Just making their rounds. Finding some grass seed, I guess. Alright, we got just regular stuff here. Not a whole lot in these chests. So someone was saying, and I think I read afterwards. Oh, we already looted this, didn't we? That these chests get better the more we open them, which is admittedly a little strange. Let's eat this stew. I need some meat, because we're hurt. Then we'll save. And let's go north. North eastish. We'll slay these scavengers, though. How about you? Ah. That one was pretty feisty, wasn't it? Either way, are we close to leveling up? Almost. Almost level 17. Actually, I'm making more progress in this part, in this recording, than my last recording. So, all's well. Let's go ahead and save, because there's a Ripper Beast up there. Let's use our crossbow against him. We really wasted our points on this crossbow. It's not very good. If it's this slow, as we level it up, then that's just a shame. Because I like crossbows in video games. I like them better than bows. Alright, let's go ahead and take this out. There's gotta be a better way to fight these animals. Probably bow. Oh no. I thought I killed the one behind me. I guess not. We're dying a lot. Now that's you. Concentrating there. That's one. Um, two. And three. And we got... What's here? A rusty sword in the ground. We're going to save so I don't have to do that again. Another rusty sword. A knife. Chest. With just regular stuff in it. Nothing special. We'll go ahead and drink a potion against diseases potion. Nothing here, just regular stuff. Uh, all right, marvelous, and we're still not to level seventeen yet. I think we're close to Okara. I hope. 
Oh, we got some people here. Actually, no, that's the same guy, isn't it? That's Owen. Yep, that's Owen. We circled around. Don't fall. Let's go back over here. And... Let's go this way. I'm trying to remember in the last recording I did where those guys were. I think we're close. It's got to be around here somewhere. What? Oh. Well, let's try to fight these guys. I don't know if we can. And what are they called? Ogre. There's some... What? How come I didn't block that? Wow, we died. Well, that hurts. Alright, let's go around them. I don't think we're ready to fight them. Let's actually try. Let's give it a try. We'll grab this. Actually, we won't grab that. I thought that was a healing root. Let's go ahead and save right here. We'll try to fight one of them. There's three of them. Oh, not two of them. Come on. I can't fight two. Let's move back. See if we can... There we go. Actually, no. No, there we go. Alright, let's just try to do this, I guess. How about you? We can do some damage to them. But there's two of them, and we can't uh, take them out, so... Let's just ignore them after grabbing this healing plant. Then we'll go around, and this part's almost over anyways. We're not going to be able to find those Okara rebels, after all. We'll have to wait till the next part to do it. I just feel like we're close, though. I'll run as far as I can until the hour mark is hit. Which will be... It's 59 minutes now. Okay, awesome road. Got a, Ah, hello. Perfect stopping point. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save. That is good. Right here. I'll make a quick save. And when we come back, we are going to make contact with the rebels here in Okara. I'm assuming that's their cave right here. Yeah, it's right here, see? And then we'll continue questing, continue getting stronger, and all that fun stuff. But either way, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again. Goodbye.